want you to memorize two digits. That's all. Two numbers. I'm going to give you two numbers. Memorize them. You ready? Three, four. Three, four. Got it? Okay. Question. Would you rather a bunch of chocolate, Hershey's, Kisses, or two luscious apples? Which one? Pick. Two luscious apples or a bunch of chocolate, Hershey's, and Kisses. Okay. Now I want to ask you another question. I want you to memorize seven numbers. You ready? Seven numbers. Nine, six, two, five, seven, three, four. Got them? Nine, six, two, five, seven, three, four. Memorize them. If you have to rewind, rewind it back. Would you like some chocolate or two luscious apples? Chocolate, two apples. What does all this have to do with anything? Let me tell you in a second. A Stanford University professor named Baba Sheep conducted an experiment where he took students and divided them into two groups. He gave both groups numbers to memorize. He told them you're gonna memorize some numbers, you're gonna walk out into the hall, and you're gonna have to recite those numbers. But one group, he gave them two numbers to memorize, and another group, he gave them seven numbers to memorize. He gave them the numbers to memorize, they walked out into the hall, and then the plot came. He had someone stop them and ask them a question. Offer them chocolate cake or a bowl of fruit. Which one would they like, chocolate cake or a bowl of fruit? And he found that the group that had to memorize the two numbers, the majority of them chose the bowl of fruit. Whereas the group that had to memorize the seven numbers overwhelmingly chose the chocolate cake. Now the question is why? Why would memorizing those numbers have anything to do with the choices they've made? Well, here's where it gets interesting. We have two sides to our brain. We have an emotional side and a logical side. The logical side will do those things like memorize numbers and things like that. So when we have to memorize numbers, we use our logic side. And then the emotional side, we know, what it, we know how we use it. We use emotion to make decisions. Well, the group that had to memorize so many numbers took up so much space in their logical side of the brain that it freed up the emotion. So all of their logic side was used and they had the emotion side left. So when it came to making decisions, they relied on their emotion side. Whereas the other group only had to memorize two numbers, so their logic side was still freed up. So they used part of the emotion and part of the logic and balanced it out to make a decision, which in that case, it chose the bowl of fruit. This means that we use both logic and emotion to make decisions. But particularly when we have our logic side filled up or we're overwhelmed by the logic, we rely on all the other side, the emotion. We relied on the emotional side. So what does this mean? If you have a full plate, if you have to keep track of a lot of things logically, then what's gonna happen? You're gonna crash at one point, unfortunately. So when you have a goal that you're set out to achieve, if you have too many things that you have to keep track of and monitor in your head, all these things you have to keep track of logically, then you might end up giving up that goal and crashing and not completing because you'll rely on your emotions and your emotions will take over and say, you know what, this is too much, forget it, just, just go have that, just go relax, you know, and go sit down. The next time you're out trying to accomplish something or achieve a massive goal, consider your options. Make sure that you don't have too much on your plate. Make sure that you're not keeping track of too many things logically. Keep it simple. Keep it down to one or two things that you can easily keep track of. Also, it's very hard to achieve a lot of things at once. So try to bring it down into one one or two steps that you can complete at a time instead of keeping all these things. So when you set out to lose weight, make sure you set up simple goals at first that you can keep track of easily so that your emotional side doesn't take over you. And the same for any other goal. And that's how you can achieve massive goals. Okay? This works for New Year's resolutions and works for any goal that you want to achieve. I want you to do two things. Like and favorite this video so you can get more of things like this and subscribe. If you like these kind of videos, click the link in the description below so you can get some more information like this on my site. I'll see you guys soon.